Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about differences between RAM and ROM in computer organization and architecture course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. It is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several examinations and several interviews. Now we can go for differences between RAM and ROM. First point, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, whereas ROM stands for Read Only Memory. Next, second point, RAM is a volatile memory. Why it can be called as volatile memory? It retains its data when the computer's power is turned on. It loses its data when the computer's power is turned off. Okay. Hence, we can say that RAM is a volatile memory. When the computer's power is turned on, it retains its data. When the computer's power is turned off, it loses its data. Hence, we can say that RAM is a volatile memory. Whereas in the case of ROM, ROM is a non-volatile memory because it keeps the files or our data permanently when the computer's power is turned off. That means even though when the computer's power is turned off, it keeps the data or our files that are stored permanently in the ROM. Hence, we can say that ROM is a non-volatile memory. Next, third point, it is a part of the computer's temporary memory. RAM is a part of the computer's temporary memory. Why it can be called as part of computer's temporary memory? In the case of computer system, so temporary memory is available and a permanent memory is available. Temporary memory is nothing but RAM. Permanent memory is nothing but hard disk. The data that is stored in the hard disk is permanently. The data that is stored in the RAM is temporarily when the computer power is turned on. When the computer power is turned off, the data that is stored in the RAM is lost. Hence, we can say that RAM is a temporary memory. Whereas in the case of ROM, it is a permanent memory. The data that is stored in the ROM is permanent when the computer power is turned off. Next point, it RAM, on the RAM, we have to perform two operations. First one is read operation. Second one is write operation. The data within the RAM, that data can be read by the users. And also new data is write into the RAM is also possible. Hence, we can say that on the RAM, we have to perform two operations, read operation and write operation. The data can be read from the RAM, new data can be write into the RAM. But on the ROM, we have to perform only read operation. There is no possibility of write operation on the ROM. Okay, only
be we have to perform read operation on the ROM. Okay. When we have to store the data into the ROM while manufacturing the computer, so we have to store a program called as BIOS program. That BIOS program is loaded into the ROM when the computer is manufacturing. Okay, at that time only we have to write the data into the ROM. But from that onwards, there is no possibility of writing the data into the ROM. Only we have to read the data that is stored in the ROM. Fifth point, it is costlier than a ROM. So RAM is costlier when compared to the ROM. Whereas ROM is cheaper when compared to the RAM. Okay, so among the RAM and ROM, which is costlier? So random access memory is costlier when compared to read-only memory. Next one. The stored data in RAM is easy to access. Whatever the data that is stored in the RAM, that can be easily, easily accessed. That, that means the data that is stored in the RAM can easily readable. Next, whereas in the case of ROM, the data that is stored in the ROM is not easy to access. Okay, that can be accessed only by the manufacturer. Okay, hence we can say that the data that is stored in the ROM is not easy to access. Whereas in the case of RAM, the data that is stored in the RAM can easily accessible. Next, seventh point. RAM is a high-speed memory. RAM is a high-speed memory. Hence, we can say that it is faster when compared to ROM. Whereas in the case of ROM is a slower memory. Okay, hence we can say that it is a slower when compared to the RAM. Now we can go for eighth point. RAM size is larger than ROM. Its size can be measured in gigabytes. So among the RAM and ROM, which size is larger? So RAM size is larger when compared to the ROM size. RAM size can be measured in gigabytes. That is 4 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM, 16 GB RAM. Okay. Whereas in the case of ROM, ROM size is smaller than RAM. Okay, the size of the ROM is smaller when compared to the RAM. Its size is measured in megabytes or kilobytes. That is 256 KB, 512 KB, 256 MB, 512 MB. These are the various ROM sizes. Next one is... RAM data may be retrieved and modified. We can easily access that data from the RAM and also that data can be modifiable. Okay. Whereas in the case of ROM, the data that is stored in the ROM can be accessible but it cannot be modified. Okay, it cannot be modified by the user, only modified by the manufacturer only. Okay, hence we can say that wrong data can be accessible, but 
it is not possible to modify that data. Whereas in the case of RAM, the data that is stored in the RAM can be accessible and also modifiable. Next point, it is used as CPU cache and primary memory in a computer system. So RAM can be used for two purposes. First one is it can be used as CPU cache and the second one is it can be used as primary memory in the computer system. Okay, next. Uh, Catch is also one memory. It is a part of RAM. It is a high speed memory. It is there in between CPU and the main memory. Next, ROM is used for two purposes. That is used for storing firmware in microcontroller and BIOS in computer system. So BIOS is nothing but basic input output system. So BIOS program is used for starting the computer system. To start the computer system, we can require a program. That program is called as BIOS. BIOS stands for basic input output system. This BIOS program is stored in the ROM permanently while manufacturing the computer system. And also ROM is also used for storing firmware in microcontrollers. Next point, types of RAMs. So there are two types of RAMs. First one is SRAM. SRAM means static random access memory. Second one is DRAM. DRAM stands for dynamic random access memory. Static random access memory is nothing but SRAM. Dynamic random access memory is nothing but DRAM. Types of ROMs are first one is MROM that means maskable read only memory. Second one is PRAM, programmable read-only memory. Third one is EPROM, erasable programmable read-only memory. Fourth one is EEPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. For types of ROM, see the previous video. Okay, so these are the 11 differences between RAM and ROM. It is one of the most important concepts that can be asked in several interviews and lab external examinations and final examinations. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divgala Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.